The Time Span Museum in Helmsdale, Scotland, is a place to learn about the history of Scottish ancestors who were uprooted from their homes. They traveled to Western Canada and were the first settlers of what is now Winnipeg. The museum itself uh, tells the story of the clearances uh, and emigration from here. It also tells the story of the sea fishing, the, the herring boom uh, here, and also river fishing, uh, the Kildonan gold rush, uh, and also um, our earlier history and the prehistory, uh, Helmsdale Castle and um, all the, the, the prehistory that there is. I mean, people have been settled uh, and farming and living in this area for at least 6,000 years. The Highland Clearance is a cog in a much bigger uh, machine, if in a way. Um, the landowners found it far more profitable to turn the land to sheep farming than the original small farming tenants that they had had there uh, before that. There wasn't enough room on this land for the sheep and the people. So at that time, there was a movement to remove the small farming tenants from these inland straths and Strath of Kildonan got hit really hard and the majority received uh, notices of removing from the landowners um, and it must have been quite a traumatic time. There are many thousands um, of footings, we call them, of these longhouses and other buildings associated with the townships. Now, because the houses were taken down, for the incoming sheep farmers because you know it didn't make sense to have these houses uh, around when you needed the land so today what you see on the landscape in the heather moorlands you see it's a kind of blueprint on the ground it's rows of stones in the shape of long rectangles and that gives you the shape of the longhouse so that's what we look for and you see other uh, blueprints the shapes of barns and outbuildings and corn drying kilns so once you get your eye in, you kind of spot them everywhere. A place that, that we wanted to excavate, we, we had a, a pilot community excavation and um, we have um, I think about six different longhouses in this little township um, and they're quite visible, Just you can see the, the footings of, of the longhouses and various other things that are associated with the township, like a corn drying kiln and tatty pits, are all still visible after 200 years. And so I became involved in the, the excavation recently, just a couple of weeks ago, and found myself cleaning a, a beautiful cobbled floor that was found uh, in one of the longhouses. The archaeologists were delighted with all the finds um, after this excavation and are very, very keen to see if they can find funding to extend this excavation, come back next year and, and do some more, or even a bigger um, study. Um, we weren't really expecting to find too much, but um, I myself, when I was digging away, found something that was green and sharp and I thought oh it must be a piece of a bottle and it went on and on and I was digging away and realised it was copper and it was covered in rivets so when it was dug out it was a piece of a, a whiskey still <laughs> or at least we think it is. Well, as soon as you come into the door at Time Span here, you get a really lovely Highland welcome from the girls at the, the reception desk. Uh, we have a wonderful cafe. It's a riverside cafe. Um, and in our cafe, as I say, um, our, our wonderful uh, cafe staff um, will bake you wonderful homemade baking, uh, soups, um, local dishes. It is just a feast for the eyes and for the taste buds. Our gift shop is just um, a wonderful place um, if you're looking for something just that little bit different to take back with you. Handmade crafts, that high quality jewellery, scarves, hats, it's just an amazing place. 
If you actually uh, go into our museum, um, we also have reconstructions of a croft house, a late 19th century croft house, a smiddy, a blacksmith's, and now that was that was a very key place in the village. That's where all the gossip and news was related to everybody. And would you even believe smiddies even pulled your teeth, cut your hair, and married you? <laughs> Well, the museum here is uh, 26 years old. It started its life out as something the community had a uh, uh, willingness uh, to put together uh, to tell about the, the rich hill history of the area. Some of our artists in residence uh, have included um, Carlin Leffley. Now Carlin's exhibition realm um, is fascinating. Um, it coincides with the excavation of uh, some of the longhouses where the people were living before the clearances. But those croft houses in our landscapes now are, a lot of them are derelict. And Carlin has gone up to these croft houses and she has taken um, photographs of the houses during the process of becoming deteriorated. And then she superimposes upon that work outdoor scenes like forest scenes or running water. And it's quite fascinating. It's like bringing the outdoors indoors and this whole idea of, it's like a, another world really. And it's quite fascinating. Prairie Mosaic is funded by the Minnesota Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund with money from the vote of the people of Minnesota on November 4, 2008. The North Dakota Council on the Arts. And by the members of Prairie Public.